It is 8.50 on a Wednesday. Welcome back to BT Sidzik Saro here with you. Some awesome history being made during tonight's Raptors 905 broadcast. City News reporter Lindsay Dunn joins us with all the details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here. Talk a little bit about breaking news. We're actually breaking this right here we on are. BT. So tonight at the Raptors 905 game when they take on the Delaware Blue Coats, it'll be the first time it is an all-female broadcast. So you have Ebony Hoffman, Maya Marie Langlos, and myself. We will be delivering the game. Nobody knows. I'll be doing sidelines. Hold on, hold okay. on. Lindsay done part you, of that thank too. You, like, nice job. First time Amazing. in franchise history. It'll be delivered by all women. Also, the entire refing crew, all females. And I think it's just going to be an exciting night because on top of the fact that you have like a WNBA champ helping deliver the game, you have a longtime senior women's national basketball camp member taking part in this. And then like myself, thank you again for the applause, is that they're taking on the Delaware Bluecoats who have Mac McClurg, who is the reigning NBA All-Star Dunk champ. And I think it's just going to be a fun night and there's going to be a lot of special guests on the broadcast. It's going to be amazing. Before we get to the special guests, there's, there's one specific one. How do you feel about tonight? How special oh, is this for you? Honestly, truthfully, this is a dream. And I have not spoken to it about anybody except for my husband. I've been a little nervous because I moved here nine years ago from Saskatchewan. All I ever wanted to do was cover sports, but specifically WNBA, G League, and NBA. And tonight, I'm living my dream, and I got to do it alongside people that I've interviewed. And I'm over the moon right now. That's fantastic. Like, That's fantastic. So Nafisa Collier uh, will be on the broadcast, as mentioned. There, there's a lot of significance, though, in terms of a future event coming to Toronto. Please enlighten us and let people know what the big event is. I warn you, I'm coming at you with a lot of energy Let's right go. now because this is something I've been waiting 26 years for. On May 13th, it will mark the first time a WNBA game is held in Canada. I cannot believe this is happening. And Nafisa, she is part of this moment. She's the 2019 WNBA Rookie of the Year and I had the chance to speak to her briefly about, you know, the excitement and history that she'll be a part of and the fact that she gets to do it with a fellow, you know, with a Canadian and Bridget Carlton, who's on the Minnesota Lynx. Everywhere you look, history being made. Let's take a look at the clip. We're so happy to have you here just a couple months early before the first WNBA game will ever be held in Canada. What was your reaction knowing that you're going to be part of the historic moment? I'm really excited. I mean, as as you've heard, the buzz around it is so, so big, and it, I think it's going to be such a fun game. And, you know, it talks about expansion. It's just like a lot of buzz around this, so we can't wait to get up here. You said expansion. I'm immediately going to go into this. I know you have a bunch of friends and colleagues that are from Canada. Bridget Carlton, who was in your wedding party, no big mm -hmm. deal. Have you guys even for fun kind of talked about the potential of a team coming to Canada? She, of course, wants <laughs> there to be a team in Canada. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Toronto's been one, you know, for a while that's been in talks. So, of course, we talked to, like, our Canadians about would they want that, and they're so excited that it's a possibility. Um, I think everyone's excited. We want expansion so badly, and this would be a great market for it. So we're really excited to be here and to kind of get a taste of what it might be like. That's fantastic. And, again, um, tickets go on sale to the general public today at 10 a.m. for the May 13th historic first WNBA game in this country between Minnesota and Chicago. Again, it's coming up May 13th. Get your tickets starting relatively soon. And where, Lindsay, can people see the Raptors 905 broadcast that you're on tonight? Yeah, you can watch the historic game tonight on NBA TV as well as ESPN+. Plus. It's going to be a great game, also 905. They're hoping to continue their four-game win streak, and they're taking on one of the best backcourts in the East. It's going to be a great time. Have fun tonight. I will have too much fun in morning right now. <laughs> Get ready for that. It's going to be good Lindsay always TV. has a great time. You're great. We love you. Thank you very much.